Well, hello there. Welcome to the Three Minute Booster, and we're on day 24. And today we're going to talk about thankfulness for small joys. Gabriel, what small joy uh, gives you just a sense of gratitude? So I think the uh, the small moments in life are actually the big moments. Mm. And it's very easy to miss because, you know, most of us, as we live, we live in culture and society, so you're looking for the big things. You want to get the big things done. You, you think, okay, once I have achieved this goal, I'm going to be happy. Then you get the next goal, right? Then once I have this, I'm happy. And, and so we miss out on the joy on the way, you know. And so I think it's maybe also a mindfulness practice uh, of being aware of the little things that, you know, um, you know, you, you, you get up in the morning and if everything is, is in order, you just don't even notice that you are healthy. <laughs> you don't even notice that, that your feet, your feet are working well, you can get up and everything. And so these small joys, um, I once, I did a very interesting course uh, and dancing course in, in the Japanese dance out of Buto and other, other kind of dances we had. And so the idea was to dance, actually to dance slowly. And you have this, it had this miniature movements. And I was surprised by, you know, I, was, I like to do kind of things like break dance and stuff on the floor, which is kind of fast and energetic. And it was the completely opposite we did there. And it was such a joy just to connect to the very slight movements, you know, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. And, and you could feel the sensitivity of, of your sensory apparatus just increased. Like, like you were going slower, you were doing less, but you were actually feeling more. Hmm. And so, and for me, this was like a really mind blowing and 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 very re revealing experience for me to see that actually by focusing on the very small things, you appreciate more, you feel more, and and you're more in touch with who you are and where you are, and you are able to do different things differently. So you don't need to, to get to a goal, but actually to experience where you are right now. You know, you you are in a great place maybe right now, and you just don't know. And so right. for me, that's that's something. It's not always easy to, to to go to these places. I think we don't need to be there always, but it's got to be there sometimes. And so sometimes, sometimes I say, okay, like where am I right now? You know, oh, I can breathe. There's it's, there's no pain here in my, in my throat. My lungs are working well. It's, it's already large, you know. <laughs> and so that's very easy to miss. Um, and and or maybe somebody smiled at you, you know. Uh, I just looked at you and I was like, hey, that was pretty nice. So, the, so these small things, um, I think they take a practice of awareness and it's easy to kind of lose it. I think it's not easy to always be there. I think it's probably not feasible to always, but, but, but just to remind ourselves, so hey, where am I right now? And what's going on here that's really good for me. Right. I love that. Well, everyone, think about those small things little things that maybe you take for granted and be thankful for them today. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, like, share, comment, and we'll look forward to talking to you more about gratitude tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.